worth it. We've done it. Hello. Hi, Abby. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, this is wild because in the age of technology, we are able to see somebody fulfill some sort of dream oh. and then talk oh to God. them within hours of it happening. Whew. It's all just so surreal. I'm like still in a daze. <laughs> By the way, you are very much a Chicago, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell by the voice. Oh, yeah. Um, so, okay. I have so much to ask you. Real quick. Um, obviously, you're a big time fan. You were on the rail, which that in itself is a whole process for many people. Oh, yeah. Talk to me about, let's go back to the beginning real quick. Like, you know, Cliff Notes version. Um, PJ fandom, where does it start? Favorite album, song, first show, all that crap. So... I, this was actually my third time seeing them. And this was my first time in the pit. It was a whole process. We decided to get there at like 2.30 in the morning. And mm. I was doubting if I was even going to get rail. So when I got it, I was freaking out like, oh my God, what is happening? Whew, I, I'm like still processing that in itself. <laughs> um, what else? Favorite album. Hmm. You know what? I, I can't even decide. I can't decide. Get off the fence, all of, Abby. All of them. You know what? Right now, I'm on a dark matter kick. Nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. So, how long have you been a fan for then? Like, when did you first find them? Um, I want to say, like, maybe when I was 10, but I wasn't, like, a big-time fan, you know? I, I'm going to give my uncle credit. He introduced me to them. I was going to ask you who your, like, you know, your, your source was. Oh, yeah. That was my uncle. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so in, uh, what number of show is this for you? This was my third one, and then Saturday will be fourth. Yeah. And, and you, 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 I think I saw on your Instagram, you went last year? Yes. United Center? Yeah. United cool. Center one, but that was my first show. So I was freaking out. Oh, my God. And so you, you came with a plan. You said, I'm going to get to the GA line 2 in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, and, and, and swim for the fences, pardon the pun. <laughs> And you got rail, and which is hard to do. And um, I mean, many people will wait all hours of the night. I don't have the stamina. My wife and I were like, "Well, we'll roll in at like five when the doors open and see." What yeah, we I I heard people were camping out for three days. It's whew. even getting there at two thirty. I was just like, "You guys are incredible. How do you do that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you you said, "Okay, we're gonna do the rail thing. We're gonna go for it." And I'm going to bring a sign. Mm -hmm. Now, how, <laughs> did you, could you even imagine, listen, it's been a hot thing lately. Like you saw Foo Fighters do it. You saw Green Day do it recently, bringing people up on stage. We saw somebody play Led Better in Spain oh, yeah. last month. Yeah. So you're, you're I, I assume you're thinking shot in the dark. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I, I brought it. I had no expectations. Near the end, I was just giving up hope. I was like, you know what? Probably going to put the sign down. And then during, during Porch, I think right. that's yeah. when he saw it. And I think he did this. I was like, oh, okay, does that mean maybe? And then they came out again. And he, he said something like, um, somebody over here had a message for me. Get ready. So I was like, yeah. oh, it's happening. There was a sign behind Behind you, like yes. two, three people behind you, I want to say it was like a birthday sign. I couldn't really make it out because I was reading. I was like ten feet behind that, I, so I couldn't really see what I it said. I think she was asking for a tambourine, oh. and I know she got one. Good for yeah. her. Good for her. Um, and I saw him do this thing because again, I was I was probably like right behind you, and I'm like, uh oh. And then that security dude was like, Whoa! like hoisted you up. God, that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that. It that, all that. happened so fast. I was like, oh, okay, I'm over the barricade. All right. So you you get up there and you're like, where the hell am I going? Uh, is, do I take just Mike? No, I don't take just Mike. What do I do? So who was leading you? Was Ed just like, come here? Like, I, I yeah, it, it's like all a blur right now. But I I was like standing off to the side, like microphone, because I didn't know where to stand. And then yeah, I yeah. was just like, here, come here. What's your name? So I was like, all right, just gonna wander over here. <laughs> Now I can imagine we we did a um, an episode a few weeks back about there's a change in their stage setup and this is really nerdy but like they don't have 
traditional monitors anymore because they have the in-ears and the way the stage is set up, the monitors are underneath the stage. It's a little bit different. So it's a quieter stage. So I, feel, I, I was watching you. I'm like, I don't know that she can hear herself. Could you hear yourself? No. And that was the most terrifying part because I came up there. I'm talking to Eddie. I, Hold on. Okay, so on the side. Hold on. I'm talking to Eddie like you do. <laughs> Still can't process that. Just said that out loud. So I'm, I'm talking to him. Um, well, first of all, like my sign's teeny tiny because I didn't want to like make a big sign in the pit. All it said was, um, can I sing Won't Tell with you? Like I couldn't, I wanted to harmonize with him, but I couldn't like physically write out, mm -hmm. can I harmonize with you? There's no room for it. So I had to tell him once I got on stage, can you sing melody? And I harmonized. He was just like, oh, okay, that's a thing. We'll do mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so just harmonizing when you can't hear yourself, let, let alone just being on stage with your freaking idol, that and it's, I can't, it was terrifying, but I'm just so shocked and just, just like so grateful that it happened. I, I got no words. <laughs> I, you, I mean, you got through it. You got through it like a pro. And I noticed you're doing a little bit of this action, you know, a little Christina Aguilera action, trying to find the, trying to hear yourself. Um, man, oh, I, you, I wonder if you froze for a second. What'd you oh, say? I said you, you you put your your hand to your ear, trying to hear yourself. I noticed that happening, and um, I just I I felt for you because I felt, I could feel you like trying to find it. But when we heard you, when you when you had the confidence to push through, you were on point. I tried. It was so nerve wracking but it's just the the um just getting to sing with him i i can't process it i truly have no words right now <laughs> and how about this you had the wherewithal and the presence of mind to be like and how about that selfie oh my god yep yep i made it a point to bring my phone on stage because i was just like you know what we're gonna make that happen that's most people would not think to do that they'd be like ah. <sighs> Oh my God, I'm so glad I got that selfie. That's incredible. And, and did he say anything interesting to you when you, like, how, what was he saying to you? Because, like, there's a little bit of, like, a 15, 20 second pause where we were like, what's he saying? Because it's not a mic. Um, I think that was when I was telling him, like, oh, you sing melody, I harmonize. Uh, what else did he say? Oh, the dancing. Just randomly out of nowhere, he's just like, let's dance. Come on. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't know if, you, if you've if you seen the video, but, like, there is a – have you seen the DVD Touring Band 2000? No. It's a, a compilation of, of songs from the 2000 tour, and there's a famous um, – they basically cut a song from each city, and there's a famous part where they're in St. Louis and given the fly, and Ed notices off stage a sign language interpreter, and he brings her up, and I he slow dances that. with her at the end of the song. And I go, he's doing the same thing, like, 24 years apart. I I love it. I did hear about that. This oh. is it's the weirdest little like markers in this timeline, and you're a part of that now. Oh my god! And now you're being tagged in like a million different photos and videos. Is that freaking you out? I'm I'm just like, like in shock, overwhelmed in like the best way possible, basically. This, this is when you when you have to like promote your like your mixtape and your <laughs> Instagram, and I assume you're a singer. Huh? I, I assume that you're singer yeah here and there i mean i i was in choir like i used to be in a band in high school but it's more so just i love singing yeah okay fair enough i'm super stoked for you thank you and i'm sure the internet who's watching now and later will be like <laughs> just so happy for you and i assume you're coming on you said you said you're coming on saturday tomorrow yeah i'm like 99 percent sure it's gonna happen we're just getting tickets last minute okay yeah well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pray to the Pearl Gem gods that you're gonna be there, yes. and um, if anybody sees Abby, go ahead and give her a high five because she killed it, and that's not easy to do in front of forty thousand people <laughs> in friggin' Wrigley. Oh, oh this isn't a high school parking lot. This is Wrigley Field. Oi, 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 oi. It's been a pleasure, Abby, and um, maybe we'll see you in the uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Good to meet you.